Last readings on the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, 12th of November, 2023. First reading. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is the perfection of prudence, and whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care. Because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them with all solicitude. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let your response be. My soul is a thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you, my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. Response. My soul is a thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Response. My soul is a thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus will I bless you while I live, lifting up my hands. I will call upon your name, as with the riches of the banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant leaves my mouth shall praise you. Response My soul is a thirsting for you, O Lord my God. I will remember you upon my couch, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. Response. My soul is a thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest, who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left after the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our 
Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten V, who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those of ye got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may be not enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other V came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection in today's reading. How does the Catholic Church interpret the second reading? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. Regarding we who are alive will be taken into heaven. First, this passage is not referring to the rapture. When Paul says, we who are alive, he is referring to those who are on earth at the time of the second coming. We who live, he speaks in the person of those who are to be alive at the day of judgment. In this verse, the apostle meets an error existing in the minds of the Thessalonians regarding the manner of the resurrection. They did not imagine that it would occur in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. They thought that there would be in it a succession of time, and that those whose bodies were corrupted would be resuscitated more slowly. And hence, that they would see their deceased friends more tardily in glory. He removes this erroneous impression and this verse. He says, We who are alive, not but he knew well that he would not live till the day of judgment. But he wishes to teach us by his own example always to keep in view and prepare for this great day, which virtually happens at our death. May God bless us all.